guys. Uh, last clip you saw was uh, two coats on this. I actually went back over it and put a third on it. Same technique, so this got three coats on it. Um, only because uh, I had, and I don't know why, because I didn't do any body work right here, but I must have rested my hand with the DA. There were a couple of uh, scratches right there. Um, I don't know what they were. You shouldn't use base to cover scratches ever. Um, but they were pretty minor, but they, after the first coat, they were still there. So uh, second coat mostly hit him, so I'm like, you, you know what, I'll just put a third coat on it. It's not going to hurt to have three coats on here. It covered real nice. Um, leaning that far out over the hood uh, really gets to me so you can see like a difference in the appearance. Uh, it might be a little more or less textured in spots, but it's also flashing off the rest of the way. Uh, this corner is still a little, uh, little ways to go. Uh, almost no trash in it, so the paint suit certainly helped. Um, I see no body work showing through as of right now. I had one spot right on the very edge here. But uh, I can't see anything now. And that was an old sand through that I thought I had it covered. Evidently I didn't, but it calmed right down. So no harm, no foul. So I'm going to leave the heat on. It's, uh, it's almost 80. I'm going to run up the store to the gas station and get a pop to drink. And let this flash for about 30, 40 minutes since I've got three coats on it. It's already been about 10 or... Uh, so minutes I cleaned the gun and everything so another half an hour um, will be good you just got to watch in the winter time even though I've got it up to 80 degrees in here that uh, let's put it this way I learned my lesson the hard way um, I was painting a bumper cover and uh, it was down in the teens outside and I uh, had it on this I think I had it on a stand, but it, it wasn't real high off the floor. And uh, I think I was having trouble getting the color to hide. It was a white. And uh, the bumper cover, of course, when you get them, are um, either uh, gray primed, like a dark gray prime, that are ready to scuff and shoot, or they're uh, raw plastic and you have to adhesion promote them. Well, this one I had to adhesion promote and uh, spray some Bulldog on it. and. I let, you know, after I cleaned it, scuffed it, and sprayed it with adhesion promoter, I let it flash for a little while, and uh, I came back and I put a couple coats of base on it, and all was well, but then I got to the pearl, and uh, it wasn't darkening up enough. I knew I had to put about four coats on it, and uh, I didn't let it flash long enough. This has been about, oh God, eight or nine years ago, maybe ten years ago, and uh it actually lifted because the solvent just kept getting trapped and trapped and trapped. So follow your times, but use your judgment too. You got, you know, quite a bit of time before this has to be recoded. It's not like it has to be recoded in an hour. Um, if you let it go even two or three hours, if you're unsure that it's completely flashed off because of your temps, let it go a little bit longer. You're not going to hurt anything, but you got to stay inside the window or you got to scuff it. So. Uh, a lot of them are like 12 hours or uh, 8 hours or something like that as long as you can let them go. But, you know, read your instructions and that'll tell the story whether you can uh, let it go that long without scuffing it or not. So, at any rate, uh, I'm going to cut you guys off. I just wanted to tell you that real quick and show you a quick update. And uh, I will turn you guys on for the clear. I figured you didn't have to uh, want to watch me keep bombing coats of base coat on the same over and over process. But maybe you like that kind. So, anyways, we'll talk to you in a minute. Alright guys, so we ended up using about half a quart, so a quart sprayable to do that hood. Um, not too bad. He went up and got me a tall boy. Oh yeah. Been up since 3 this morning, so figured why not. So I'll put the old paint suit back on here.
base coat came out good. Uh, only one or two little spots of trash that I nipped off of it. You know, if we're not painting in a uh, full down draft booth, that's pretty good in my opinion. So we're going to get some clear fired up here. Got our mixing cup. We're going to use the MS30 speed clear. A, uh, not the normal hardener, the slow hardener, but not the very slow, the six hardener. That's what I got, unfortunately. Um, I just got to be careful. That's what I used on that pan. And uh, that was a vertical panel, and I got the one run because I flooded an area out, which is just not smart on my part for doing that. So, you know, hopefully we'll be all right here. And I am going to start and mix probably, I'll pour 14 ounces of clear. I actually, no, I'm going to do 12 and that will give me 16 sprayable at 4 to 1. So let's go 12 ounces. Let's see how far that goes.
Street. thing uh, set up out here and uh, get you guys ready to go.
All right, I want to see how much I used here. And uh, let's see. Well, we're just under 12 ounces left, so we should be good because I'm going to slow down this pass. Uh, we used a little less than half of what I mixed, which is kind of where I wanted to be. Because this next coat, we're going to slow down after that tacks up and pound it on there. And hopefully not pound it onto the floor. Excuse me. Probably take us 10 minutes to get that to tack up. It's... Uh, being that slow hardener so alrighty we will turn you guys back on when uh, we're on the next what I wouldn't do to have arms that were six inches longer
guessed that one pretty close. Uh, I may see in about five minutes here if I want to put a third coat on that. It's, uh, it's flowing pretty good, so I'll uh, bring you back when it's done so you can see nice and shiny. Well, guys, that's what we got left for clear. I went and put a third coat on and mixed up a little bit more, and uh, I got about an ounce left, so I did good there. But the bad news is yet to come. We got more water issues and uh, my pipes aren't trapping it. So I'm gonna have to add my drip legs to here like was suggested to me. Um, past couple times I painted was fine but humidity's up today so bam, here we go. So I put that third coat on. You see that in the light? That's water, dripped out of the hose. Right on this edge, other side's fine but um, probably gonna have to sand and re-clear it. But uh, good news is the front of that hood is slicker and slicker and slick. So uh, yeah, would rather not do that again and uh, make a repeat of that voyage. But you know things happen. I didn't catch it fast enough. I heard something and I thought I caught it in time and I looked down and it was too late. So. Um, the reason I was throwing that third coat of clear on was uh, there was a couple pieces of trash in this side that uh, I really thought I was uh, going to have to do more sanding on than uh, necessary, so that's why I threw the third coat on it, and that didn't work. So, you know, it happens, and uh, I'm definitely not uh, long-armed enough to get to the middle of that hood. I'm a little peely in the middle, but the rest of it... Uh, it turned out pretty decent. I got some trash over there. You can probably see. So uh, we'll see what happens when I sand it. I got three coats on it. So uh, did it ruin my day? Not really. I thought it was going to be a little better than that, but you know those kind of things happen when you paint in the same place you do your body work. Sometimes it works fine. Sometimes it don't. But uh, I got the gun all cleaned up, and I'm going to get out of my zoot suit here and. Uh, Scoot on home, because this job is done for today. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.